Okay, we're going to have another big session of tomato juice tomorrow. I've got a sink full and three more buckets full over here to cut up tonight. What do we got there? Little buck would be proud of me. Uh, I guess the last time I really didn't get technical enough or something, didn't show you really a how-to. On tomatoes like this Roma, I just cut them, I quarter them, so that, that the core is quartered and it, it'll go right through that juicer. Something like these big ones, I have to cut that core out and I'll cut the bad spots out. But uh, the cores have to be cut out of these before they go in the roaster. And tomorrow I will show you uh, more about the roaster and a little bit better job on the process of canning them. I just got started. I got a long way to go. See you tomorrow. Okay, it's uh, Sunday morning. I had ended up with three five-gallon buckets clear full of uh, cut-up tomatoes. I had about a one. I had about I had about one bucket of uh, bad tomatoes and the stuff I didn't want. I got my roaster, two roasters full. If you notice, they still got the seeds and the skins on them. That will come off during the juicing. 300 degrees with the roaster set at. I've got the other roaster over there, and when my buddy gets here, we'll have another roaster sitting right here. Well, we ended up with five and a half buckets of tomatoes. We've got three roasters going. Got the juicer hooked up. You put the juice in here, the tomatoes in here. The juice and pulp comes out here and the skins and the seeds come out here and we put a pan here. When when we get the pan full, we run it back through and we get a whole bunch more juice and uh, pulp out of it. The pan sets down here, of course, to catch the stuff. I'll show you some more of it when uh, when we get farther along. They're cooking down. We wait till they're pretty mushy before we run them through. These are about ready to run through the juicer. They're pretty soft now. Juicy. We'll get them run through the juicer here pretty quick. Okay, we've ran uh, one 18 quart roaster through here. There's all the juice from one 18 quart. We've ran the seeds and the skins back through at one time. So this is what it looks like when it comes out the second time. It's pretty dry. Made a modification to our juicer went out and cut a uh, peanut butter jar plastic and set over that. It looks like it's getting a little warm, but at least it's keeping the juice from spraying out of there like a fountain. We did one big pot and we've got uh, seven half gallon jars of tomato juice over there so far out of that big pot we were doing. And we got another pot cooking smaller one and we're going to start cranking it out again. We usually just bring the juice to a boil. I put one teaspoon of salt per quart. These are half gallons so they've got two teaspoons in them. We fill them up, put the lids on them, and let them sit over here to seal. I'm using Tatler lids on these half gallons because uh, 
the next thing is we're going to open the jars up, pour them into the roasters, and make our uh, tomato sauce. And I figured I'd just use reusable lids for this process. Well, we're done today. Uh, we got 18 half gallon jars. And all these quarts, it all added up to 74 quart total. I think we're all ready for a nap. So far the old Tatler lids look like they're doing the job. That's a lot of tomato juice. Well, thanks for watching.